Preparing rice in an electric cooker is easier than cooking rice on the stove. You throw in the rice and water, press a button, and walk away until it's ready. This machine is designed to steam rice to perfection. Rice cookers use indirect heat to circulate steam around rice and water, from the outer pot to an inner pot. This process cooks the rice evenly in half an hour. To cast the outer cooking pot, aluminum ingots are melted in a furnace. A robotic arm scoops up the required amount of molten aluminum with a ladle, then pours it into the top of the mold. It takes the metal four minutes to cool and solidify. Then, technicians extract the pot from the mold. To refine its form, the pot is mounted on a computer-guided lathe. As it spins, several machines contour the pot's outside surface to its final shape. Next, the pot is loaded onto an automated drilling machine. The machine punctures 18 holes through the bottom. The rice cooker's heating components and its painted steel shell are attached to the outer pot through these holes. Then the pot is returned to the computer-guided lathe. A tool polishes the interior until the aluminum is smooth and bright. A disc of stainless steel is placed in a press. The press molds the steel into the inner cooking pot. The next press trims off any excess metal around the top, leaving a clean and even edge. Another machine curls that edge to form a rounded lip. The lip strengthens the pot and provides a place to grip when the inner pot is placed into the outer pot. Once polished, the pot is placed in another press. This press stamps water level lines on the side and a trench on the bottom. The trench helps the water evaporate quickly. Next, an automated booth paints the rice cooker's steel shells. The shells are baked in an oven for 15 minutes at 390 degrees Fahrenheit so that the paint can set. With a pad printer, the company logo is applied to the shell. Technicians install part of the switch mechanism to the shell. Another technician places the heating element in a slot on the bottom of the outer pot, securing it with three clips. They install two connection plates used to attach the steel shell, a porcelain plate, and a magnetic core. The core controls the on-off switch based on the temperature inside the cooker. The technician connects the power cord and attaches the thermal insulation sheet, which allows the cooked rice to maintain a temperature of 158 degrees Fahrenheit. This part of the switch mechanism hovers over the magnetic core. When the cooking temperature hits 158 degrees Fahrenheit, the core activates the switch to turn off the heating element and start up the thermal insulation sheet. After more switch wiring, technicians install the fuse, which prevents the cooker from overheating. One end is connected to the heating element, the other end to the power cord by the porcelain plate. The painted steel shell is attached to the base of the outer pot. Once attached, each connection plate is secured with screws, then handles are installed. Finally, every rice cooker undergoes a temperature test. After starting the machine, the cooking temperature is measured with a thermometer. Once approved, the cooker is packaged with a cover and perforated insert for steaming other foods. To use the cooker, you put rice and water in the inner pot. 
and water in the outer pot. In under an hour, the heating element turns off and the insulation sheet kicks in to keep your rice warm.